We're here at Championship Monday at the Orleans Arena. We're finally here. Gonzaga Pepperdine for the Women's Championship. Hello, my name is Stephen Hobbs and I'm from Santa Clara University. And I'm Kristen Yoon from San Diego. If you look at this matchup on paper, I mean, it's obvious to see who the biggest favorite is in this game. The Bulldogs have defeated the Waves in the regular season twice with a margin of 42 points, but head coach Julie Rousseau won't let these girls go down without a fight. And we've got some unfinished business to take care of. All right? Imagine, remember to stay focused on the goal. Don't lose sight of the goal. Don't lose sight of that picture that's on your notebook. But head coach Kelly Graves for Gonzaga is not rolling over either. He emphasized defense as in the first meetings this year, they forced 24 and 23 turnovers against Pepperdine. So defense will be the name of the game. And this team is not lacking confidence either. I think the most important thing is that we play our game, okay? We play the way we play. The great thing about having the best team, okay, and you guys are, okay? We're, now we got to go prove it today, 40 minutes. The best thing about that is we can worry more about ourselves than about what Pepperdine's going to do. So let's make sure that we play a good game. Let's remember, okay, let's remember, we're the best team, okay? We're the best team. Now the Waves do have a chance of winning. They need to come out strong and ready to hit the ground running. They have senior center with them, Marina I am, who leads the team in scoring, rebounds, and blocks. I mean, these girls have to play with heart. They got to play with skill. They have to be calm, assertive, confident. Well, and it's not about all just about defense for Gonzaga. Offensively, they are outstanding. They have Heather Bowman, who's the all-time leader in points scored in the WCC, and they have Courtney Vandersloot, who leads the nation with 9.4 assists per game. So if you stop one of them, you're going to have to stop another one. They just keep coming back and back again. So it should be a tough matchup for the Pepperdine Waves. Well, we came into this tournament not knowing what the outcome could be. I mean, the same goes for this game. It could be a huge blowout or the biggest upset in WCC championship history. The Pepperdine women wanted to hit the ground running here in the championship game at the Orleans Arena. Early in the first half for Gonzaga, missed by Bowen. Friesen tips the ball out and finds Courtney Vandersloot, and she hits the three. And Gonzaga is pumped up early. Lauren Bell for the Pepperdine steals the ball, takes it coast to coast for the layup, and one. Pepperdine fans getting excited in this tight game. Now talking about coast to coast, Courtney Vandersloot does the same thing for herself. She drives coast to coast, up and in, layup, and one. Gonzaga takes an early lead. Miranda, I am for the Waves, senior center, who leads the team in shooting, has a jumper, and makes it. And now late in the first half, a rebound by Gonzaga, but Alex Gerald blocks Kayla Standish. The first half ends, and it was close one. Gonzaga was up by nine at the half. Pepperdine Waves coming back strong. Menton hits the three for the Waves. Pepperdine down 34-29. But Vandersloot responds and says, uh-uh, I ain't having it. As she comes in, hits a three, tournament MVP showing it off right there. Another all-star play by Lauren Bell hits a three, but it was too little too late as the Zags have a 23-point lead. And Courtney Vandersloot showed off her passing ability late as she finds a streaking Heather Bowman. Late in the game, and the Gonzaga band is pumped up because they know that the championship is close. And here at the end of the game, the buzzer sounds, and Gonzaga is the WCC champion with the automatic bid in the NCAA tournament. They defeat Pepperdine 76 to 48. We talked with some of the stars of the game for Gonzaga. So Courtney, uh, you had 19 points, eight assists tonight, but more importantly, being the point guard on this team, how fun is it to be on the court with so many weapons? Does it make your job a lot easier? Oh, definitely. Year, you know, and I get all these awards, but really it would be nothing without my teammates. You know, they, they make me a better player. They really do. And um, it's just, it's so much fun to be out there with four other players that can put the, bas the ball in the basket at any point in the game. And how fun was it today just winning the WCC championship? It's probably not your ultimate goal at the team, but it's probably nice to be here and, and have that great feeling of winning the title. It was, and you know what it makes it so important is that we couldn't get to our ultimate goal if it wasn't for this. You know, it's it, we don't want to put the the name into the um, committee. We want to just, you know, get it there uh, um, by us. So it's, it, it is important and it's going to help us in the long run. This was just how I wanted it to be. You know, just coming out, doing our game plan, playing well, playing how we know how to play. You know, that's important to come out like that. 
The Zappos.com West Coast Conference Championships are over for the women, and as expected, the Gonzaga Bulldogs have advanced and received the NCAA automatic bid, and I expect a lot from this team in the weeks to come. Now, we can also hope for a postseason performance for, from the Waves in the WNIT. I mean, we just have to see what these ladies can do in the postseason. For Stephen Hobbs, I'm Kristen Yoon, WCC-TV. Thank you for checking out all the complete coverage of the women's tournament. And tonight, look for the men's game between Gonzaga and St. Mary's at WCCSports.com.